Okay, here let's do a super fast branching and merging demo. So, remember I created that folder called main and then put my hello world inside of it? And I said never add stuff to the root of the directory? Other than that, so nothing's in anything other than main. And the reason that I did that is so that I could set up branching and merging later on. It makes it really easy. You can say, okay, well, here's our main line of software development. And if I want to branch from that, I right click, go to branching and merging, and say branch. Ha <laughs> ha, so easy. And I give it a name, and let's say this is uh, release, well, let's call it dev. Say dev, and now if we go into our pending changes, we've got a whole bunch of changes that are marked as branch. See right there, branch, 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 branch. So if we want, let's come over into this stuff, and let's open up from our dev branch. Open it up, and let's compile it, make sure it still works. Yep, that's great. And uh, at this point, we're pretty good. We're happy with this, and we can check in our branch. So come in here, we'll right click, and a branch is a pending change just like everything else. So we'll say right click, check in pending changes, and let's say branched. Hello world for dev. So a dev branch is typically where a dev team would work. Um, it's not related to any particular release, just sort of ongoing. Main is a little bit more formal. It's more of a place you might do a release from. So we've got two versions right now. So we have, not sure if that shows up, but we've got dev and we've got main. So we've got a little icon, too, that says that that is a branch. So what we can do is we can come in and we can open up two versions of this simultaneously. This isn't exactly how it would work, but because you're probably going to have multiple users doing this stuff at one time. But let's go into dev, and we'll open it up. And we'll come into Solution Explorer. We'll drill in, and let's make some modifications for... For this, uh, let's go to the code behind here, and let's uh, change the comment on this, and let's say, "Hello world, dev branch." Or let's just say, "Hello dev branch." That's creative, right? Nice, done. All right, and we'll come in here and let's make some modifications to app config, and let's say, uh, I'll add a comment. This is a dev branch comment. And uh, all right, let's say we're happy with this. Let's check in our changes. It's now checked in. Yep, that's great. And uh, what we can do now is let's pretend that we want to merge those changes back from dev to main. So we can right click on the dev branch and say, merge and it says okay well source branch is dev target branch is main what do you want to do i want to say uh let's let's push everything click next and it's going to say all right uh what are your changes so it detected that there were those two changes that were there and it set them up as a merge so you see right here we've got merge so if we like these changes, and let's let's head into to the same directory, and we'll open up this version. So we've got the version that we did here, and let's go into Source Control Explorer. Remember, this is in the main branch now. We've got that. We're good with it. Oh, maybe we want to change this to say main branch comment. Save that. If we're happy with it, we can go to Source Control and check in and check in merged changes from dev so that's pretty good right so we've just moved changes from dev over to main now we can also do some other stuff like let's say that we've made some modifications we want to go the other direction we can do that too we can make modifications in main and push them back but let's say that we um, 
Well, this is a thing called resolving conflicts. So we'll say main my comment blah blah. Make that modification and we'll check it in. So this is this is main. And then let's go back over to our original one. Let's close out the main version. Let's open up the dev version. And if we come in here, we see main dev branch comment. And let's add another change. So we like that. It's pretty good. Check it in, and we're happy. Now, let's go and let's close this out. And let's do a merge back from main to dev. So this is called a refresh merge. We refresh from a parent. So the main is the parent, dev is the child. Right click, say branch is emerging, merge. Repeat that same thing. So source branch is main, target branch is dev. Say latest version. And it's going to say, whoa, we can't do that. We've detected a conflict. So one of the things we can say is auto merge. So if that were available to us, you would say, hey, uh, I know what to do. Don't worry about it. But there was a conflict here. But since we modified the same file, we either could keep the target branch version, which means no change, or we can say merge changes in tool, which will bring up the merge conflicts comparison tool. And it says, hey, we've modified these both of them right here. So left is the source, right is the target, and then the result is down here. So I want to take this version. So I'm going to choose this. And now that pulls it down. And I kind of want to take both of them. So do that, merges that together. I'll say, yep, that looks good, and click Accept Merge. That resolves the conflict. And if we go back over to Pending Changes, we will see that we've got a bunch of edits that are merges. We've taken care of that. Let's say merged from main to dev. That's all checked in. And now we are pretty good. There's also some features in here which allow us to visualize. So if we go right click, branching and merging, view hierarchy, it will show us, oh, here's how they're related. Um, also, if we want to track stuff through, let's, uh, let's right click on main and we'll say view history. So we've got uh, this file right here, change set 34. We can say track change set. And we'll say track it through various merges. Let's bring that over. Check which branches we want to track it through, and we'll say visualize. And we can see, oh, yep, that change set went through there, and that's what it went through. We can also turn on timeline checking so we can see when it went through and where it went and how it got there. So that helps us to visualize where change sets have gone through branches and merges. So that is our uh, quickie demo of branching and merging. And remember, use it wisely because it can get you into trouble. So keep it simple. Don't branch unless you have a really good reason.